Welcome to Overdrive AF, the official podcast of Overdrive Fitness. My name is Teddy Gerzon, and I'm joined by Gina Marie Gerzon. Hello. As always, social media coordinator, Destroyer. What's up? And Titan Rajol. <laughs> we look alive, guys. We were making a ton of noise before we started the broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't been paid in months. We're not. We're on strike. Yeah, perpetual employees in the month. It's still not ready. <laughs> they get bonuses every day in the form of T R E A T S. We had to spell that out because they know the word. Yeah. And they got the killer parking spot. <laughs> 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 yeah, the VIP parking spot. Yeah. I used to charge $300 a month for that spot. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're going to get into some of the topics that we're going to be talking about. So, we're going to be talking about the topics that we're going to be talking about. So, with that being said, for our listening list, we hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And, uh, don't celebrate Christmas. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas because everyone financially gains on the Christmas season. Let's face it. Anyone can give it. Yeah. Anyone can give it. Yeah. I mean, it is a national holiday. It is. It is a national holiday. I think it's important to celebrate because it does bring about a lot of good, good things, positive things. It reminds you Maybe to be a little nicer, to be a little bit more appreciative, <clears throat> a little bit more grateful, you know, start to acknowledge um, some things, maybe hug people a little tighter, um, things that are really important, makes people happy. <laughs> yes, and everybody needs that. Seriously. But the day we're actually recording this is the 22nd. <clears throat> So yesterday was the first day of winter, yeah. which would have been the shortest day of the year as far as yeah. sunlight. Mm-hmm. So, um, we made it. Yeah, yeah, we made it. And today's beautiful. Yes. And then every day from here on out, it's just going to get a little bit brighter than mm-hmm. the last. So that's something to look forward to, right? And uh, It doesn't feel like winter right now, I can <laughs> tell you that. For someone who's pretty sarcastic, um, that's a pretty like optimistic way of looking at the future. <laughs> For sure. It's getting a little bit brighter every day from here on out until next year. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, we're not going to have a white Christmas, and I'm fine with that. And uh, I know that Jeanette is very happy because Michelle's like, that means my husband actually gets to be home in the morning for, yes. for Christmas. Yes, oh, my God, yeah. Because Larry, uh, those of you that listen and know Larry, he, uh, he works for the highway department. So whenever it snows, his, his office is the plow truck. Yeah. So, I guess uh, I never really think about the people that actually have to spend their time doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Snows. And it's like even though, let's say it's snow, it starts snowing at 2, that means his shift started at like noon the day before, waiting for that first flake to fall. And then you're not going to be done until, like, at least 24 hours after. It's fucking crazy. But I love that Christmas and New Year's is falling on a weekend this year. Um, It'll actually feel like we could enjoy it, celebrate and enjoy. Yeah, not like a random break in the middle of the week for a day and then coming back to work. That's, like, such such a tease. Because even, you know, coming back in the next day, the day after Christmas, you're like, oh, man. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, um, did you run any miles this past week? Um, I did not get um, any miles in since last recording, but I've gotten a ton of the at-home sweat workouts. Oh, huh? I've seen and that. those have come in pretty clutch. Mm. Nice. Because, like... Nice. I was, I always, I use the app for like the, the upper body and the lower body yeah. stuff and I hadn't really tried the sweat workouts. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know, like how much can I really get done in like 30 minutes? Mm-hmm. And then I finish each sweat workout. I'm like, God damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been waking up sore for the last few days. But That's awesome. Because 
it's kind of perfect with my schedule. Like, I get done at night. Like, it's, it starts late morning and I get done at night. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's too dark to go for a run. Yeah. But it's perfect because then I just, like, I hop off. I go to the workout <laughs> space and get in my quick half an hour but feel, like, good once it's done. Yeah, it's very, you feel very purposeful. Yeah. And it's like you get it done well it feels fast because before you know it but you're like damn yeah, yeah. i feel i felt like i was teetering because i've been eating a lot of like sweets and fried <laughs> stuff over the past few days and i feel like five days in a row of sweat workouts like I'm rejuvenating thank you, thank you my love i've done one <laughs> or two <It> worked, <laughs> well desi and i know we've been <laughs> we've been through plenty yeah, of them i shouldn't have been so naive as to think they didn't work i was <laughs> I was demonstrating them for months. Oh, my yeah. God. And Not just an exercise rep here and there. Yeah. The entire fucking workout. Yeah. In, in the most unideal conditions. Yeah. At 12, 1230 in the afternoon here in a warehouse. <laughs> when it was, you know, anywhere between like 85 and 95. Yeah. And most of the time, really humid. Hot and humid. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? Yup. So. How quickly we forget. Oof. Built character. Yeah. I gotta say those they were fun though. I I every I enjoy I enjoyed doing the lives in during the lockdown. Our members really appreciated that mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah. So that that felt good too. Yeah. Um. And we were silly. We got to yeah. be a little silly. Yeah. And they're yeah. still coming in handy now. <laughs> What's up? They're still coming in handy now. Yeah. No. It's they're like, helping. Like I, I go through a whole day and I'm like, fuck it, and like get to move around, but then I'm like, yeah. oh, I've got half an hour. Mm-hmm. Oh it's like God. 11 at night, but I still got half yeah. an hour. Yeah. So, like, why not do this right now? In which you'll do more in that half hour than most people will, like, three hours at yeah. retro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't have time to check your phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Well, if you're doing it through our app, then the phone is yeah, coaching is. you through it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's like, shut up, robot. Yeah. <laughs> you got, got the, this. I got the perfect setup because I got my big computer with, like, the speakers right next to the workout area so nice. you don't need to choose between like music or the workout oh and that's awesome so I throw the music on on the computer and that's... throw the workout on on my phone and just go nice you have the good playlist going oh yeah excellent see that's especially good. after last week I've been queuing up all the right stuff there we go okay yeah we're getting it done yes awesome Glad you you got some sweat workouts in them. Yeah, and even I know Coach Lawrence said she's been doing them too, and I yes. know Coach Kevin when he when he's kind of short on time and he can't get here, he does them at home yeah. too. The working man's workout. <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Multi-purpose. Yeah. I mean that goes that goes right in line with the fact that you know the weekday warrior class was well at first it was called weekend warrior, but then our demographic became uh, for the class became very blue collar so i was like you know what weekday warrior for all you motherfuckers putting in 60 plus hours a week i'm still trying to get it and they do yeah got a lot of hard working members in here yeah 5 a.m's a party i dig it energy at 5 a.m we have people signing for, for that that time slot at uh on christmas eve yeah, well, I think people want to. They have a lot to do. And yeah, uh, some so people. Is, get in all their well, some yeah. <laughs> the men <laughs> in the class. And then. <laughs> yeah, I got my hair cut the other day, and my I said to my barber, I'm like, well, it was it was Tuesday, right? It was yesterday. Yeah, I was like, so did you, uh, you get any Christmas shopping in? He was like, <laughs> half. <laughs> but it's fun to it's fun to go to like, the mall nice. on Christmas Eve. It's, I've done that before. Yeah. I mean it's a while but what i'm saying is is it's fun to be in that energy that well you do well muscle. under pressure so i always do well under the, the deadline is like <laughs> hence the sweat workouts Desi. <laughs> <laughs> what about our wedding <laughs> well that yes we're like you know we should probably just do this <laughs> uh, and we had the whole thing done in three months not even i, st- I still don't know how we did that how we pulled that off <laughs> there's a will there's a way yeah um speaking of I- intentions and <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice segue there, well it's true it's that's it <clears throat> yeah so um every year it's 
it's very common everyone starts off their year with making new year's resolutions but uh like you said before the podcast before the broadcast today you said uh um you know replace the word resolution with intentions yeah and i like that i like that a lot got me thinking right away of the movie cruel intentions though <laughs> <laughs> That was that was a classic. Well, I think with more with resolutions, people are so apt to give up on them. Yeah. Because they set the bar maybe so high, or things that are maybe untouchable in a sense. <clears throat> where, um, if we think about it, just like anything else, there are steps. Um, you know, you crawl before you walk. Um, barbell techniques you know a barbell clean we teach one component of the lift not the whole entire lift you know I mean we have you put one foot in front of the other slowly we walk then we jog then we run then we sprint that kind of thing so everything has its place and there are steps that are needed you know they need to be taken in order to achieve what we want so um, putting those intentions out there and again always going back to those those habits and creating um, a healthy structure that foundation for yourself and you can build upon that foundation um, no matter what what it is and I think intentions too are normally very positive and very uplifting and um, they make you feel successful like like you're getting somewhere um, as opposed to a resolution like, oh my God, I got to lose 50 pounds or oh, I'm just going to quit smoking. or uh, It's like there's like almost kind of negative, a negativity behind it. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, it's like you, you start off setting your resolution based on something negative in your life. Mm-hmm. It's like that's not, a, that's not a great way to start it. And I feel like intentions, you, you really live it. You know, when you set those good intentions out there, um, Like I I would always say, and this has been around for a a long time, thought, word, action. So like we have the thought, we speak it, and then we do it, right? So um, Mm -hmm. really embodying um, the entire um, whatever that is for the person or whatever intentions they they are. Mm -hmm. Um, Thought, word, action is something that I've kind of lived by for a long time. Um, and, and you, you know, we work on that with our members too, especially the ones who, who really dive in and, and, and want to do the nutritional component with us too. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's embodying that change and embodying, um, the transformation process, being it, really being it. Um, and the, you know, the little steps that you take, okay, again, one foot in front of the other, What's it going to take to get to this? What's it going to take to get to that? What little things do we have to do to set ourselves up for success? You know? Um, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe that person wants a new pair of training shoes. And, you know, so, well, I do get Starbucks every day. Well, maybe making coffee at home for the next several months, maybe you'll be able to buy those shoes. Or, you know, like setting your, your uh, alarm you know, maybe 15 minutes earlier so you can get up, uh, get some, some yoga, maybe, maybe yoga at home or maybe an at-home workout. Yeah. You can't make it to the gym that morning. And you know, at least I'm here, I'm going to get it done or whatever. Maybe prepping your, your food the night before so you don't have to go out and buy lunch and scramble and you end up eating shit, you know, or, you know, creating a food list for yourself that you can buy or buy online so that it can be delivered to you so you can create some healthy meals for you and your family so that you can lose that 10 pounds that you've been wanting to lose for the past 10 years and save time and and save time which is very valuable and have more quality time with your family Mm -hmm. which these are all things that you can't buy with our doggos you know um i think when it hits home too is a lot of the things that you really can't buy the things that um and and you feel good about it too because you did it on your own Mm -hmm. you did it so, and it allows you to be a better person overall, and and your world becomes better. That reverberation out, you know, that butterfly effect, in a sense. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, I'm talking. No, I'm you letting guys can you jump in. You're, you're on a roll. That was great. 
you know, uh, I just I just think you know when you when you're setting intentions as opposed to resolutions, uh, you know, yeah, you are putting it out there, but it's uh, it's a much clearer thought. Like you get to you you start to envision a lot easier. You know uh, how you're gonna get to that from point A to point B. You know whether it be I don't know growing your business by twenty five percent every quarter. You know when you when you start breaking it down into little chunks of time. You know from a, a year to a quarter to monthly, weekly, and daily. If you even want to say affirmations, you know you'll you'll be able to achieve those goals um, before you even know it. Which is that's the greatest thing. You know. So it could be something as simple as like spending an hour each day, you know, uh, spending an hour each day, just totally getting away from the whole world and doing something that actually makes you happy so that you have the energy to get through every work day and be as productive as possible, mm-hmm. you know, like for instance, for us, it's very important that, you know, we disconnect from work in the middle of the day during our lunch break. Mm-hmm watch the office or the last og and laugh and then we attack the second half of the day Mm -hmm. you know so i guess it's funny that i think about it now it's a that our halftime is is break (laughs) so is our our lunch break Mm -hmm. it's like we have a little halftime yeah and then then we get to talk and you know we we have conversation we connect with each other Mm -hmm. um and the same thing when we go home yeah. When we go home, no more work, no more talk about work, no more answering texts or that can wait till the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, just because, you know, connecting and, and um, you know, with yourself and um, that allows you to perform to be the best that you can be for your like for us this is our community this is our our overdrive family um to be able to be our best for them and be present for them um and uh and then teaching that to them too i think you know leading by example um uh you know getting the sleep that we can eating properly enjoying and uh, practicing balance in our lives and we we preach all of those things here at overdrive mm-hmm. um disconnecting and then reconnecting um when it's time to you know put everything on the line and and empty the tank on our reps when it's time to rest and pull back um um you know real things in enjoy the holidays but if it's time to you know, pull back again and and tighten up on on nutrition. Um, you know, just uh, all of those things. And again, um, really practicing that. You know, for the members too, mm-hmm. and the athletes. Um, just al- allowing them to understand how to to go day to day and set their their days up accordingly. Even if it's even if it's hour by hour. You know, setting alarms on your phone. Mm-hmm. Um, stand up and walk around. Get outside in the sun. Allow that vitamin D to come in and allow your brain to connect to that sunlight. You know, um, allow your circadian rhythms to <laughs> to regulate again. Um, all those things, like little things like that. Very important. Seriously. Um, you know, I, I think um, people... And, and people, our members come here for, for that structure and and to be reminded of those things. You know. You know, uh, this just got me thinking too. Was uh, I heard someone say the other day? I was listening to a podcast. They said, um, you know, one thing that, that a lot of people do, which, actually sets them up from failure from the start, is uh, they'll always say something like, "I'll be happy when I finally, you know, make." $150,000 a year or I'll be happy when I finally lose this 50 pounds and you're you're not allowing yourself to be happy so you're you're upset you're mad you're angry you're frustrated you're stressed from the start and most people never hit their goals mm-hmm. so you're always going to be unhappy where it's just be like make sure you're happy now because that journey is going to be a lot easier 
So in a sense, what I'm getting at is like when you set resolutions, most of the time they're just like you're, you're already starting off in a negative place, a negative mindset. Mm-hmm. Whereas like if you set the intentions, it's like, all right, like, like for instance, I mean, I, I already got on into my personal goal already. Like, uh, you know, I intend to grow by 25% every quarter. Like in some some people's eyes, that's that's outlandish, but you know, in my eyes, it's extremely achievable. Um, just by the little things you can do every day, you know. So uh, we all don't have to disclose our intentions for the new year, but I have no problem putting that one out there. Maybe we can visit revisit this episode in a year and see where we're at. We can. And I, I think those are I think those intentions should be sacred too. Yeah. Because when um, when we start to tell everybody about this and you know where is it coming from and becomes it, bragging for some yeah. people. It's it's, it's bragging. A weird, like, pressure filled. Yes. Though. Like then, I feel like mine's vague in a sense because I'm just giving a percentage, but like that's as much as I want to get into it. Yeah. But you know we're working on that and and um, and then where is that coming from too? So it's like you know you water stuff down and. You know this, that, and the other thing is like it, it, if it if it's leave it, allow it to be sacred for you. Mm-hmm. Um, if it, maybe if you're working with a coach or you're working with a mentor, or you're that's in, you you can share it because you're building upon that. Mm-hmm. And um, what are you? How are you setting things up to achieve that? And um, again, I got to give it up to all the members in here who have who have been have and then are still continuing to really work on. And putting those intentions out there and, mm-hmm. and saying their affirmations and, and being here, being really present and being being present for themselves outside of here because um, I see it um, I see it in, in those members that um, that I that I have the opportunity to work with too. Um, and it, it's really an honor because their lives are changing day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. I love it. I love seeing them grow. Um, and evolve it's like it's it gives me chills um, because they're making the choice uh, to, to, to be better and do better um, but I think yeah that sacredness and you know connecting body mind and spirit body mind and soul however you want to look at it oh oh just um, allowing things to to really um, I think you know our our intentions are very sacred to us because they're special Mm -hmm. and um and those intentions get us to a different place and move us forward um so little things i mean um we'll, we'll use an example um of how things can you know setting the intention of maybe stepping outside and and taking a five minute walk because um, uh, say the doctor came in and said, you know, you really need to lose 25 pounds. You're going to be 50 years old and you're setting yourself up for a heart attack or a mm-hmm. stroke or whatever the case. Um, um, you know, we can have one way of looking at it. Well, you know, getting outside, I have, I work from home, but getting outside, I don't know. It's, you know, all right, well, let's set a step goal. Oh, that's a lot of steps, but, you know, well, what do you want? Oh, well, you know, the doctor said maybe I have my, might have a thyroid issue or, um, you know, I might need to look into gastric bypass. And th- Okay, so, I'm, and I'm not saying that being on medication is a bad thing. I'm not saying that, you know, making a choice for a gastric bypass is, is not an option or it's, it's a poor option um, because at some point maybe – those things might be the only option but how can you actively be be proactive in your health and 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 getting yourself healthier so you know setting those small intentions where I'm gonna get up from my desk I'm gonna set an alarm every hour and walk around maybe uh, walk right just walk outside and walk around my house or walk walk up and down the block it's something I don't care if it's 30 seconds, I don't care if it's five minutes, whatever that is, but start setting those, those little intentions where, you know, I'm going to walk for five minutes a day, or I'm going to get up from my desk every hour, or, or whatever the case, little things, or I'm, I'm going to change 
from cr cream in my coffee to whole milk or little things, you know. Um, or maybe I can start to add one piece of fruit into my day. Um, I'm going to um, learn a new TikTok dance every there, other month. That's <laughs> it. You know, I'd like to maybe I'll we'll start to spend a date night with with my husband or with my wife or you know a family dinner outside of the home mm -hmm. um i like that intention date. yes that sounds amazing yes i'm down yes. for a weekly date night yes we, which was again that's an intention for us too i just so happy but mm -hmm. you know making those little changes at and what, we were good with that it's just covid step. put a strain on it yeah we were actually very good with that mm -hmm. and so again getting back into it and not being angry about it or whatever but so how can I, you know, what's another step? What can I do to get to that next place? So, um, you know, or maybe um, if people aren't cooking in their home and maybe one weekly meal, an at-home meal, like a, a fully, you know, a, a cooked at-home meal instead of ordering out all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, and then before you know it, you go back to your doctor, your cholesterol is normal, your your blood pressure is looking really good. Um, you've lost 10 pounds and you got a smile on your face. <laughs> That's huge. And you're not gasping for air every time you walk up the stairs in your own house. You know, that kind of thing. Like just by, by making just these little, these little changes and, and setting these little, little intentions, tiny, tiny. Um, because at the end of the day, it allows people to be happier and you're getting a better quality of life. All mm -hmm. in all. In general, just a better quality of life. That's huge. Yes. Anything to add? Yeah. No, I think it just helps to, like you were saying, like keep it simple and like almost keep it like more vague. Mm -hmm. like, like last year, my sort of like intention was like, I just want to stay healthy through the winter because I know it's so easy to fall off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then I just came in here and I was like, what can we do, like, nutrition and workout-wise to make that happen? Like, mm -hmm. I don't have any specific mm -hmm. goal other than to just, like, stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you do that and you, it builds from there. Like, yeah. You start small and you start big and then you, it gets bigger and more specific once you accomplish the smaller things that you set out to do. Yeah. It doesn't have to be complicated. Exactly. Like, the resolution's mm -hmm. always get to be these like crazy complicated abstract things mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be there's no mm -hmm. rules that's why people get so like all right after new year's as they're you know as they're downing the liter of vodka or whatever i'm just saying i don't know or the or the, the second bottle of wine or, or or whatever you know and it's like oh but after uh, new year's it's all over just going right back to the gym and i'm you know i'm eating i'm eating clean and you know no more no more junk food or no more but you start pulling so many things away at once, and what do you have left? Nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. You make it, you set yourself up to fail. And, um, you know, by allowing yourself a little wiggle room, and um, I think keeping those little intentions sacred, and um, but that way there's no judgment on, on, uh, on anyone's part for you and, and you feel successful every time you achieve one of those little intentions, you know? And then you allow yourself to move further, further along. You set yourself up for success that way, you know? And you can be proud of everything that you do, which is huge. Because if you're not proud of everything that you accomplish on, on your own, you don't need anybody else to tell you, but be able to look in the mirror and say, you know, I like me. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of everything that I've done. And whether it is just, I don't know, making the bed in the morning and you never did before. I don't know, something little. No, it was a topic of discussion this morning. Making actually. the bed in the morning? Yeah. But I used to get made fun of in okay. college for that because I was like the only guy that did that. That made your bed? Yeah. Oh, really? But that's part of structure. That's part of, you know, even in the military, it's like that too, right? Lawrence made his bed for the first time the other day. Oh. He said, Mommy, Yay. come look at my room. And, she, and oh. Michelle was like, oh, dear. What did he do? And she walked in, and he was like, I made my bed. Oh. <laughs> and she, I think, so I think Michelle was like, in her head, was like, okay, you tried. That's good. 
good enough. But, and he felt good about it. Yeah. You see what I mean? Exactly. That's a big step. To me, it's hard to to think clearly if I don't make the bed. That's why I make it with you in it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got to get to work. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Tough shit. <laughs> Hope you can move around with hospital corners. <laughs> you can't really make the bed when Titan and Braj are on it, so. No, there's no shot. That's, um, yeah, no. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so setting 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 healthy intentions as, as small as they are and keeping them sacred and feeling confident in the fact that every, you know, each one that you set, you know, allow it to be, you know, something that you can achieve. I will say this much. Be su- feel successful. Because I, I do all the consultations for everyone when they come into overdrive, for athletes and adults, right? And I've noticed that the most successful transformations we've ever had in here all have the same intention when they walk in here. And it's never like, I got to lose 50 pounds by the wedding in April or something like that. You know, it's, they all say, I just want to get stronger, move better and feel better. And that's their, their daily focus every day. And like I said, in our, in our social media post yesterday, you know, what we do here isn't crazy, nor is it sexy, but we've helped a lot of people become crazy sexy. So, you know, it's, and, and a lot of those people, Almost every single one of them, they just want to get stronger or not even just get stronger, be strong, like be considered strong. And that goes for men and women in here. And they just want to move better and feel better. And those three things get you very far. Mm-hmm. So I forget what study, um, God, what study, but, but um, lower body strength and grip strength are, they are for longevity yeah. that's how they measure it's lower body strength and grip strength mm-hmm. it's not you know yeah it's a good sign of like how long you're predicted to mm-hmm. live two, two out of three of those things now why I can't I remember the third one it's not running a marathon or, or anything like that it's not necessarily oh it's your VO2 max I'm sorry VO2 max it's your lower body strength VO2 max and your grip strength that has, you know, nothing to do with, <laughs> I'm going to go, <laughs> whatever, you know, it's not running, you know, on the treadmill, like, a, a, you know, or get some iron in your hands, mm-hmm. lift heavy shit, grunt a little bit, <laughs> don't be afraid to drop the weight, like, mm-hmm. drop it, drop that shit and make some noise, like, feel good about it um and that's what i love to see even with the ladies here not not just the gentlemen of course i do because it's empowering to be able to walk out of here and be like oh hell yeah that's what i did today but the ladies too yeah um we got some we got some badass batches in here yeah and like um what did terry say to you the other day she just started with us and um she said she she thinks it's awesome how Everyone can be doing the same exact exercise, like regardless of her doing it with, you know, a 20 pound dumbbell and the person next to her is a man using like a 70 pound dumbbell. She's like the fact that I can do the same exact movement, but like at my pace, she's like, that's amazing. And and I love how it makes me feel. She said, yeah, she said, I love how it makes me feel because she, she said she feels strong. Yeah. You know, we're not we don't we don't like restrict our women to five pound pink dumbbells you know um because what if their favorite color is not pink no i'm kidding uh yeah you know it's a we will help you push limit yeah (laughs) (laughs) purple for my queen Mm. and yeah purple i know boom i'm a red guy (laughs) yeah (laughs) um but it's just nice to because we and we and everything that we we do and we've always done and we'll continue to do is focus on foundation, um, building that foundation, continuing to hone that foundation, um, and coach people accordingly, uh, right? Mm-hmm. People love being led. Yes, and, uh, that is true. You know, 
that is very true history will confirm that mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh anything else to add mm -hmm. I think we're good boys anything to add <laughs> without yeah, destroying he, anything anymore knocked over desi's camera <laughs> yeah my goodness well i guess we know we're getting desi for christmas this year <laughs> they helped us with that i'm sorry i meant destroyer i didn't yell at you see i never yell what are you talking about i'm the zen one thought word action <laughs> <laughs> I intend to be more zen in 2022. Mm -hmm. Get my Phil Jackson on. See how everything comes back to Bing Bong? <laughs> Kemba Walker playing, getting some minutes last night. Getting the win. What's up? Did not see that coming. I wrote him off. But uh, remember, one of the easiest ways to stay on track and fulfilling your intentions is to check out overdrivefitnessny.com and click on prestige labs to get your hands on the best supplements in the game boom also join our growing mm -hmm. our growing army of muscle leg muscle leg consumers in this gym uh, or not even in this gym and within our umbrella right because we have we have remote clients that are also using muscle leg now on a daily basis mm -hmm. and it's helping them achieve or, or fulfill their their protein needs so go to muscleleg.com slash overdrive to get 10 percent off in your order i actually just got my barber on it too yesterday nice yeah he's like have you heard of this thing muscle leg i'm like let me tell you about muscle leg yeah. bro and he's gonna be starting here too soon yup big nick let's go i'm excited hell yeah dapper ways and, um, check them out pro river yeah boss haircuts and and keep Keep uh, putting out the, those good vibes, guys. All the the love and all the the positive talk and all the good things that you say about Overdrive because we're constantly and continually hearing it from people. Um, who, What hairdresser you go to, what, mm -hmm. I don't know, anybody, um, other parents on Facebook. Um, Keep putting out the, those good words because, uh, believe me, we appreciate it. And, and you're doing something good for for other people because um, people need this kind of training and people need not even just this kind of training but this in their lives. Uh, I, I happen to feel we do a great job at really completing the circle. Mm -hmm. um, circle. The circle. <laughs> Mowage. Mowage. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a circle. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so just by, you know, putting out that good energy and talking about overdrive and talking about all the good things that we do here, what we've done for you, um, you never know, you might inspire and uh, touch upon some good intentions in somebody else. So it might lead them here. It only helps them to get closer to where they want to be. So, you can start the new year off like that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's all we got for you to wrap up this this year, 2021. Um, check us out in the new year. And we'll catch you guys in another episode of Drive Day. Have a happy new year.